Here we are at the front of the 144. Uh, we got a lot of work done so far. Hush mat, electrical, the whole Adwag A-frame, insulation, uh, ceiling struts, everything's ready to go. We're gonna start putting the van back together here. Uh, and that starts with uh, getting the uh, over cab headliner back in. Uh, we wanna go ahead and get that installed so that when we start placing panels, uh, we can meet up the seams nice and clean and have a really good uh, flush look. Uh, so let's see what that takes, uh, looks like. All right, we've got a nice uh, professionally finished uh, headliner here in the matching material with the kit. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this installed here. We're going to start by, definitely helps to have two sets of hands here. Uh, we're going to be lifting the headliner up and while someone uh, will be holding it in place, Nathan's going to go ahead and drop the light cluster through the back so it hangs down the front and we can install it. Um, as you can see here, I've got uh, the factory headliner clips that were in uh, when they came out, if you break any, you'd want to replace them. You'd want to have all four of these in place before you stick it up. They can be kind of hard to fit in there. Uh, you'll have a little bit of tight space getting them in. So having these four clips installed before you go is what you want to do. And then uh, getting them over the seats, it kind of helps to tilt them at an angle. Uh, and we will start to bring this in. Nathan's going to drop the light cluster through the back. And that's going to live there for a minute. Now we're going to kind of dive the nose into place on both sides. And this is essentially where the headliner is going to live. Um, this is its position uh, from the factory. As, you, as we did before, uh, the side airbag trims are hanging loose. Those are going to be the first things we put in place. And that's going to hold the headliner for you so then we can go and do it and everything else. So on each side, You'll know you're lined up uh, when you can see the factory holes for your visor on both sides uh, through the holes here. And then you can take your airbag piece and push it behind the headliner. And there's a, a gap uh, where the headliner came out of before. That's where you want that bottom side edge of the headliner to sit in. And then you want the metal brackets behind the airbag piece to go ahead and click back into the place that they came from. It takes a little bit of massaging, but once you get it in there, it should be relatively easy after you seat the headliner in that tray. Got the front one, go towards the back. You can see down here the headliner is seating nicely in that tray. And now I've got my rear one hooked, so the right side's in. Nathan's working on the left side over there. While we're working on the other side, uh, the factory light unit is really simple to put back in. There's two little guides on the rear and they have tracks that live just on the back uh, sides of this. So you'll just set them in that track, push towards the rear, and then push the front up until it clicks. And that's installed, very simple. Nathan's got his left side in, and so now we will move around and show you how to attach the A-pillar covers and the visors. All right, so now that we have the headliner being held in place by the overhead airbag trim. Um, you can see the headliner is seated behind uh, that edge in its tray and the metal hooks factory are, are hanging on their respective spots. Uh, we can move down to the A-pillar. Now you've got your weather stripping that needs to go on the outside of the A-pillar all the way down and then you have a trough here that leads all the way to the front of the windshield which is where the leading edge of your A-pillar cover is going to go seat into. So you'll start with that. On the back of the A-pillar, you've got some factory push clips, uh, some wedge clips, and another guiding uh, plastic piece. And this is just the uh, back of the screw trim cover. So we'll start by seating the bottom of the A-pillar, and then we'll go ahead and push these clips into place and make sure the weather stripping is going around. That'll start at the bottom. If you don't get that out of the way at, at, at the front, uh, it's going to give you some trouble trying to wedge it into position. So start with the weather stripping down low. 
You can see I've got the A-pillar seated in its trough, nice and tight all the way down to the front, so I should be able to work that weather stripping over the front. And then in the rough area where those two clips are, give it a couple good bangs, and that's nice and in place. Then we're gonna go ahead and set the one factory uh, T30 bolt back into its respective mounting place. The T30's in, you can flip the cover around, pop that into place, and now you have the whole passenger side buttoned up, and you'll do the exact same thing on the driver side. Uh, start with the bottom of the A-pillar, snap your clips, get the weather stripping on the side, and then we'll move on to the visors. So as it came out, uh, the visor's in two pieces. You got the handle and shelf, and the visor itself. Now what we're trying to accomplish here is the hook on the end of the visor is gonna go through the handle and it's gonna grab some sheet metal right back here. And then on the shelf handle part itself, there's also a hook to the left that's gonna do the exact same thing on this side. It's gonna hook onto some sheet metal. You have to do this all together. You can give yourself a little more leverage to start by just turning this hook straight up and down to the visor before you put it in to the shelf and just put that hook right back into where it came from and then we I like to click the visor into the shelf and then we're gonna get that hook to grab the sheet metal up here and then get this side of the hook to grab that sheet metal up there uh, starting with the big hook will get you usually into a better position so we're gonna lift that up to there uh, kind of level off the shelf and then as we're pushing up with the visor, you can slide it forward. Now I felt it go forward and that front hook is in place. Um, sometimes as a barrier, the, uh, the second hook on the left side or more towards the center of the vehicle can give you a little bit of trouble. The sheet metal can be almost too far away sometimes. So a little pro tip, if you get yourself one of your sturdier screwdrivers and you just stick it into that hole and, and leverage uh, the handle up so the end of the screwdriver is pulling down. Uh, you can manipulate that sheet metal just a little bit to give yourself some additional clearance for that hook to grab. Especially the case after, uh, if you've had your headliner upholstered, it can be a little more difficult. So once you've gotten that sheet metal down, we'll go ahead and place that front hook again on the right, level off the shelf. That hooks in place. I can peek over the top and see. Now I can level the visor off. Push up underneath that hook. Drive the shelf forward and now they're both hanging. All right, we've got the hardware that initially came out of the visor. Um, remembering carefully to document which bolts are going where as you take them out. Uh, the long silver ones are going to be up here for the handle and the shorter black ones are the ones that drive up through the bottom of the visor. Uh, we're going to focus on the black bolts that drive up through the bottom of the visor first. Uh, we've got our two hooks set in so the shelf is pretty well holding itself in place. Uh, you can peek up and check some alignment to see if you're pretty close on your handle holes. If those are if you're able to see your, any part of your mounting hole, you're going to be in good shape. Uh, so again, starting with this outside bolt, we're going to go ahead and uh, I've got my T30 on an impact driver. Uh, if you're very careful to make sure that you don't strip the bolts uh, starting very slowly, you can try it this way or if you have a T30 uh, handle drive, you can also do it that way. Uh, when you're placing these bolts, uh, intuition would tell you to drive straight up. In actuality, um, these bolts are mounted in a way that they are going to be just angled uh, with the head of the bolt towards the back of the van, driving almost at a slight forward angle, which will help you get it seated the first time. So I'm going to start out here, and I found the home first try, so nice and secure on the right side. Now you have to pull the visor out of its seat 
from the left side in order to seat this other bolt because the post blocks it. So with the visor out of the way, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your bolt, find its home, and again, angle slightly towards the front of the van as opposed to driving straight up. So the threads are slightly tilted. Found that one on the first try as well. Visor's in its place. Now we're gonna focus on the handle and get our last two bolts in. We've got our final two long silver bolts that are gonna go into the two uh, handle mounting holes. Uh, you can start with either one. I've already checked to see that I've got pretty good alignment, so I should be able to push the bolt through and find its home right away. And we'll start with the outside one. I'm gonna get my T30 on it, put it in there. Found its home, snug it up, and we'll move to the forward bolt. bolt. With my drill, I can reach and get that started. And it's home. Now we've got our visors locked in. We're good on the passenger side with the visor and the A-pillar. We'll move over to the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and get the visor up, starting with the front hooks, get those bolts set, move over to the handle, set the handle bolts, and then we will have a complete headliner ready to move to the back of the vehicle.